Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And the question I'm going to answer in this video is, what are the principles of successful data governance? Now, this is actually a question that I get asked on a fairly regular basis by my clients. But for some reason, it never occurred to me to make it into a blog or, or a video. Uh, towards the end of last year, I had a, a, a series of new clients that I started working with who were all asking this similar question. And I thought it really is time that I address this now. So um, not that long ago, I launched a, a blog which goes into a little bit more detail, but I wanted to answer the question in a video just to give you some brief pointers to, you know, what to look on, out for if you're just starting your data governance initiative. Now, I'm going to do a video on each of these in a bit more detail, but for today, I just wanted to give you a flavor for them. So you're starting thinking about things in the right way if you're just starting off in data governance. Now, over the many years I've been doing this, I've worked out that there's six key principles that you have to bear in mind when you're starting your data governance initiative. Now, the first of these is I've called opportunities. Now, this is all about identifying why your organization should be doing data governance. So I've called it opportunities because this is all about finding the benefits. You shouldn't be doing data governance because it's best practice or somebody told you you should. There's got to be some real benefits in it for your organization. And if you don't sort start by finding out what they are, you're really not off to a great start at all. So whatever you're doing, if you haven't done that, Go and work out what your benefits are to your organization. It will make your life a lot easier as you go forward with your data governance initiative, I promise you. The second one is capability. Now, I think it's fair to say that most people get into data governance by accident. I know I did. Um, and you're suddenly doing something and you've got no idea how to do it. And that happens quite frequently and quite often existing um, employees within an organization are asked to start doing data governance with no idea where to start. Now, I can tell you, I made it up as I went along and I will be really honest that very first time it really wasn't all that good. I've still got some of the scars from it. The good thing is, is that everything I've learned from doing it badly in the initial years of doing it is what I've pulled together in my methodology and is now what I teach people in my training courses. So whether it's my training course or somebody else's or you want to read a book, just make sure that you give yourself the, the skills. Don't try to make it up as you go along. I tried that. I really wouldn't recommend it. Not unless you've got a spare 19 years to, to, to play around with it. Um, Third up, I have custom build. Now I've made videos, written blogs about this. I'm quite vocal on the fact, but I will just remind you once again, do not think that there is a standard framework for data governance that you can copy and paste in your organization. I haven't yet come across one, but if somebody tells you there is one, run. Do not take it. It will not work for your organization because it was not designed for you. So make sure whatever you do, you design something that is tailor made for your organization. Now, my next principle is simplicity. You must make your whole approach to data governance as simple as, as possible and only add complexity where you absolutely need to. I found over the years that the more complicated you create a, a data governance framework, the far more likely it is to fail. Users won't accept it because they won't be able to get their head around it. So just take the time to strip it back to what you think is the most simplest design of a framework that will meet your needs. And don't be afraid to add detail in later. Just start simple. And when you find circumstances where your simple framework won't help, it won't work, then you can add some extra detail to allow for that. But keep it as simple as possible. Now, the next thing it, I've called launch, this is all about making it happen. Do not attempt a big bang approach. You cannot do everything all at once. There are many balls, it's like juggling. There are many balls you need to keep in the air when you're doing data governance and you will drop too many of them. You will um, disengage your stakeholders if you try to do too much. And if you also try to do too much, they will be quite scared. And I've actually been told that we can't progress with things because it was too complicated. So it's really important that when you launch, you do it on an iterative basis and roll out bit at a time. And it will take a very long time, but it will be very successful. And then finally, I have evolve as my sixth principle. 
it really is important that you don't think of data governance as a project. This is something that is going to stay with your organization forever, but it will not stay the same as you design it now. It needs to evolve and change as your organization evolves and changes. Um, it needs to be meeting the needs and developing and delivering on the benefits that your organization needs for at any one point in time. And what your organization needs from its data governance framework in five years time is not what it needs from it today. Now, as I said, I'm going to make videos on each of these and go into each one a little bit more detail, but I just wanted to give you that flavor. So if you really are just starting out, you can take those principles on board in your approach to data governance. I hope that has been helpful. Um, if it has been helpful to you, please help me help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by sharing this on your social media channel of choice. And if you've got a question that you would like me to answer on one of these videos in the future, please just send them in to questions at nicolaascom.com. Thank you.